First look at the official build of CAF Extended version 3.0 based on Android 12 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Munchy here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at CEF extended official build based on Android 12 running on the Poco F1. As you can see, security patches from October 2021. And this, of course, is a ROM which is based on CAF. The kernel they are using is Shiva's no name kernel. SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box. And this is how the ROM comes out of the box. This here is your power menu in case you want to have a look at the volume panel this is how the volume panel looks like and this here is your quick settings panel few important things to note over here they have added the tiles for enabling or disabling your wi-fi and mobile data independently without using the internet tile then you also have tiles for dark theme extra dim invert colors and hotspot and you can of course change the brightness by using the slider on the top next up let us have a look at the recents so these here are the recents and as you can see select works without any issues and of course with android 12 you can share the link and you can also share the picture from your recents directly and here it is you can now share the picture screenshot also works without any issues next up let us talk about material U. so yes material U is there go into wallpapers and style going to change wallpapers and here are the different wallpapers which you can choose now surprise surprise if you go into the second option of wallpapers and style change wallpaper on device wallpapers you do have a pretty cool looking caf extended wallpaper and here it is working without any issues as you can see everything has changed to the new accent color you can change the accent color over here as well and you can also choose between the basic colors in case you want to do that you do have a toggle for dark theme themed icons are there along with the option of changing your app grid and another important thing if you install the pixel 6 live wallpapers apk those are linked in the description of the video they do work without any issues and you can change the blur effect working like a boss of course everything should have switched over to the new material u color there it is we now have a bluish color for our prominent theme next thing we can talk about are the widgets so of course make sure you have updated all your applications from the play store and once you do that you should get the clock with the five new widgets if you bring over the analog clock you can choose between five different faces and similarly if you try to add another widget you will notice you have an easter egg widget as well called paint chips and this has all the colors in this specific theme tap on this it is going to expand and then tap on any color you can share it using the quick share menu which is present in android next up you will notice i do have a weather so at a glance has been fixed and here it is working without any issues next up let us open the application drawer try to search for my name here it is you can see system wide search has also been fixed working without any issues of course you can control what all content you want to be shown in your system wide search next up let us head over to settings so this is how the settings ui is going to look like let us jump over to applications go into chrome go into permissions and then go into location three different options and you also have a toggle to enable or disable your precise location then you also have network access control along with the ability to control sensor access and you also have a toggle to remove the permissions if the app is not used for some Time. other than that you can change your default apps in case you want to and yes game dashboard is enabled out of the box enable this toggle and then when you open any game you should get this arrow you might get it on the right hand side tap on this controller and here it is the different customizations you have toggles to enable or disable your screenshot tile then you also have the recording in this floating bar along with your fps the floating bar can be moved around and it does snap to the edge optimization is available on specific games only next up going back into your apps you do have the option of google assistant and 
any app for which the permissions are removed are going to show up in this unused apps section next up let us head over to notifications so of course you do have per app notification control along with your notification history priority conversations are there and bubbles are also there do note whatsapp does not support bubbles right now then you can hide the silent notifications in your status bar this is useful for those of you who use live caption and you also have toggles for all the other options which you see on your screen right now next up we have battery so in battery you of course have your battery usage now i just installed the rom so it's not showing me anything it does take some time to kick in then you also have battery saver along with extreme battery saver and you can schedule both of those and you also have a toggle to turn off your battery saver when the phone is charged to 90 percent adaptive battery is there along with the toggle to show the battery percentage next up we have sound and vibration so here in you do have sliders for all the different options then you also have a toggle to link or delink your ring and notification volume other than that now playing is there now do not enable now playing because you might have media lag issues with respect to live caption when you install the rom for the first time come over here and download the pack it wants you to download and once that is done live caption should work without any issues other than that you also have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now and you do have a toggle to enable or disable the screenshot shutter sound along with dirac sound enhancer next up we have display so in display you can of course control your brightness level you do have adaptive brightness as well and once you go into lock screen here and you can enable your always on display in case you want to and it works without any issues the animations as always are pretty smooth for always on display and you have a toggle to wake your screen for new notifications then you also have screen timeout however the toggle for screen attention is missing dark theme can be enabled based on specific time or from sunset to sunrise for sunset to sunrise it is going to access your location next up you can change the font size you can also change the display size you can change the dpi as well then you can configure your left and right lock screen shortcuts as well other than that you can configure what all items you want to see in the status bar and those of you who want to disable the volt icon have a toggle over here then you can configure the time to show your minutes seconds as well and you can configure your battery options as well next up we have night light so again you can schedule night light control the intensity as well and if you're using your sunset to sunrise it is going to access your location colors you can choose between natural boosted saturated and adaptive and you can change the rgb strength as well using these sliders as you can see working without any issues next up you do have auto rotate screen and you have a toggle for enabling face detection as well double tap to wake on your lock screen is there along with double tap to sleep on the status bar and double tap to sleep on the lock screen is also there here it is you also have toggles for 4g icon mobile data icon and device in vr let us test out double tap to sleep on the status bar works double tap to wake works double tap to sleep on the lock screen also works so all those features are working without any issues we have covered all the features of wallpapers and style next up you have security so only fingerprint is available no face unlock but as always fingerprint is super fast and super reliable with no issues to report next up we have the option of privacy so in privacy you do have a privacy dashboard so in privacy dashboard you can of course see what has accessed the camera the microphone the location and other options over here then you also have toggles for camera access microphone access and showing clipboard access as well so how do these toggles work let me open the camera application and here in for starters of course you know with android 12 you can choose to share your approximate location and then let us go into the video mode and try to record a video so here it is we are recording a video now if i access my notification shade here it is you can see i am being notified that my microphone and my camera are being used by the camera application next up let us use the quick setting toggles to say disable mic access and now you can see that microphone has been removed from here and it is only showing me that 
the camera is being used by the camera application so using these quick setting tiles you can enable or disable your camera access and microphone access next up we can head over to the next option which is system so in system the first option is gestures you can of course quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice for your navigation two different options three button or full screen gestures you can of course swipe to invoke assistant and also change the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge one handed mode is there works without any issues you can of course create a shortcut for your one handed mode as well here it is this is the shortcut and when you tap on it you can enable or disable your one handed mode then you can also use the power button for assistant in case you want to and there it is i can now invoke the assistant using the power button so how do you turn off your device if you're using that feature you'll have to use the option in your quick settings panel to turn your device on or off next up you can prevent ringing by pressing and holding power and volume up together master toggle is enabled you can switch between vibrate and mute and yes three finger screenshot is also there so let us test out the three finger screenshot bam here it is working without any issues of course with android 12 you can take extended or expanded screenshot as well the magnification lens is working without any issues choose the content you want to capture tap on save on the top left bam there it is screenshot saved and working without any issues next up in system you also have the option of rules so let us say you want to turn your wi-fi off automatically once you leave your home that is something which you can configure over here then you also have something called me extras so herein you can configure your vibration strength for call and notification only again call and notification only for google keyboard you will have to go into the other option of languages and input and herein you can configure your vibration strength for the google keyboard then you also have vibration wave patterns this is something which is very similar to oneplus or oxygen os call patterns and that is something which can be changed you do have a bunch of different options you do have kcal and again here it is let me change the rgbs make sure the master toggle is enabled turn your screen on and off and bam there it is kcal is working without any issues and feel free to use either the options from here or the option from your display setting now the only difference is that from here and you can change your saturation the contrast the hue etc as well then you also have per app thermal profiles here it is these are the different options for your per app thermal profiles and you also have per app performance profiles as well and then you can also configure your default performance and thermal profiles more information about these can be found in the pinned comment on this video next up let us talk about safety net and do note fm radio app is there out of the box we can check for safety net here it is you can see safety net is going to pass out of the box without having to root your device we can also go ahead and open the google play store and here and check if the device is certified or not so there it is play protect certification device is certified this means your banking apps are going to work without any issues with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium now with respect to google photos you get storage saver unlimited or original quality which is going to count against your devices storage or your online storage also let us go ahead and try to edit a picture of my favorite football star to see if we have the feature of portrait light and bam here it is portrait light is available working without any issues the app is using the material you theme as well and another super important thing to note over here is that portrait light only works on human objects it is not going to work on my chicken friend over here then with respect to the assistant lady she is there and she works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well and last but not the least let us go ahead and check out the app opening animations to see if you have any lags or any jitters in the ui and there it is you can see there are no lags no jitters in the ui with respect to app opening animations it is super fast recents bam here it is recents working without any issues pretty smooth over here as 
well let us have a look at the google feed so once the content is loaded and you have fast enough internet there are no jitters and no lags in the google feed either of course i'm not sure why live caption kicked in but it did then we can also try to switch between a few applications and trust me caf extended is like super 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 smooth rom and those of you who do want to try out android 12 i think at the time of recording this video this has to be a must try rom and is it worth a daily driver in my humble opinion hell yes this is worth a daily driver and there it is peeps that was our first look at the official build of caf extended based on android 12 running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you